Folks, before we get into the show today, I've got to tell you about the very exciting brand new Patreon page. You can go to patreon.com slash snackspot. Link's going to be in this episode description and in our Instagram bio. Of course, you can check out all the cool exclusive content that we are putting up there, including the Captions On podcast, which is truly exceptional. Uh, where we're watching, we're going through all the Disney Channel original movies and maybe a couple of bonus ones in there, as well as Bad Directions, the advice show that I do um, that people can call into and stuff. Both of those are going very well. It's very exciting stuff. And again, you can only get that exclusively at patreon.com slash snackspot. The good news is, folks, it's only three bucks a month for all that exclusive content. We've got a lot more cool stuff on the way. So be sure to uh, check that out for yourself. And of course, it also helps us out a ton. So thank you for subscribing to that. Uh, Snackspot. Wait, what is it? Patreon.com slash Snackspot. Home economics. What did they call it when we had it? Um, living. No, living, that's not, no it. not living environment. <laughs> yeah, it was a living that environment. was science. That was no, they album. called it. Um, Home and careers, right? No, they changed it to home the, economics. It used to be called home and no, careers. No, it was home ec, and then they changed it to home and careers, but people were calling it bleep and bleep. So um, no, they that's changed why they, it again. No, they changed it again to a third thing. Bleep and bleep? Uh, yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah, it was bleep and bleep. It's two slurs. 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 We don't say slurs on the show, champ. The champ knows <laughs> the champ, everything. The champ knows but he, everything. But he can't fucking but put two uh, and two together, huh? He's the huh? PC champ. He doesn't know the slurs. No, apparently not. Um, Why can't we just say it? We're not. Are we live? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, Thanks. Good to know you were ready. Called. Write it down. Pass me a note. But Matthew <laughs> got super into like the table setting like portion of that class because there was like cooking and sewing, and then there was like t- like because uh, it's know, an like, important thing to know. Thing. I mean, Sewing it is, is, but yeah. you got really, no, really, table in, you got really, really into dude, it. Dude, I always, to know, dude. that reminds me, like, things like that remind me of the the Disney movie, Eddie, Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. Mm. Yeah. I, think I, I always wish original. there was some type of setting. Yeah, it was. It, you know, it definitely was. Have you guys um, watched it yet? It's on no. Disney. It's on Disney's Plus. Disney Plus. <laughs> Disney's <laughs> Plus. Disney's Plus. It's on Disney's Plus. Plus. The premium Walt version. Disney's Plus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome. To Walt Disney's Plus. It's just a monorail that moves a little bit faster. Or the, it's a people it's mover. It's a people mover. Yeah. I'm getting heavy old man vibes from you today. Uh, He's the champ. <laughs> from the no champ. From the champ. <laughs> Dude, I'll be honest. When you went to the bathroom, I licked that, uh, I licked that whiskey again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I told should, you. I, I just told you, dude, too much of that. Uh, uh, I haven't uh, eaten uh, yet today. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I told you. Uh, yeah, that's hit you. Real body's, all, yeah. body's all fuzzy Shout right out to now. the Buffalo yeah. Happy Hour fellas. Um, they, they know how to do it. So hang on. Uh, okay. I didn't know we were live. Because yeah. before anything was even said, I wanted to uh, just really address the elephant in the room. And um, what happened last week? What do you mean? I heard you had a little accident. Oh, when I pooped my pants? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, you inspired me, I guess. Apparently. <laughs> he was like, dude, if that's, big one, that's a big one of those to <laughs> you, buddy. Andrew was sitting here. He was like, well, I've if never Ott's, done it before. He's like, if Odd's doing it all the time, I might as well try it once and just sat well, here and just It was the first himself. time I've ever pooped my pants. And it happened to me one time. And you guys oh, just wanted you to just shit yourself me. like two weeks ago. When? Dude, you literally told me, dude, yeah, I, sh- I-, I sharded it again today. See, that's the thing. Dude, it like, happens to you so often that you forget when it happens. <laughs> you know? For me, it's a big deal. What like, happened? if you had pooped yourself. What like, happened, I- though? I was at the maybe urinal. Maybe listen to the fucking episode, Yeah, dude. maybe maybe listen yeah. to the I didn't. Again. I didn't want to. I didn't want to because oh, I wanted yeah. to ask you about it. I'm well, like, I'm not, I'm not going to listen to it and know. My... My bowel movements and I have been, you know, we've had a complicated relationship as of late. I feel like it's karma because I made fun of Al Roker all the time for when he pooped his pants at the White House. But I was peeing at the urinal. Wait a minute. Al Roker pooped his pants at the yeah, White House? Yeah, because he's got IBS and he pooped his pants at the White Dude, House. Dude, of all the worst places to poop your I pants, know. that's got to be He put up it there. in his book. It's so funny. But uh, Al Roker's got a book? Yeah. Yeah, at least one. Who's Al Roker? <laughs> the he's guy from the, the Today uh, Show. Yeah, he's on the Today Show. He's the weatherman from the Today Show. Only weatherman I know is Don Paul. Fucking Don Paul. I never liked that Shout guy. I never trusted Paul. him. Is he still alive? Got he's it. not doing the news anymore, though. But he I wouldn't. I guess I Only when there's a big storm coming in. Yep. Yeah, he'll let you know. So anyways, you're at the urinal. Oh, yeah. And, you know, when you pee, you'll, you'll fart a lot. Sure. And I farted, but it ended up being a little bit more. A couple, couple slipped past the goalie. 
not a couple slipped past the goalie, but something slipped past the goal, goalie, and it was like, I was like, you know, it happened, and it was, you know, pretty, it was a very small amount of very liquid shit, and... It's a shark. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's a shark. A, it's not a full-fledged shit. That is poop, if there's poop in nope. your pants... Nope. Okay, so here you come in to fed. Oh, I don't poop my pants that much, nope. and now you're like refining what it is to poop your pants. Because how often do you yeah. shart? Not often, but I've definitely, I've definitely sharted quite a handful of times throughout <laughs> my life. <laughs> That's a poop. It's That's not. Poop in your pants. It's Dude, not. that counts as shitting it's your not. pants. No, it, it does count as shitting no, your it, pants. No, it does. Sharting <laughs> counts as shitting your shitting pants. Shitting your pants. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. Shitting your pants is an entire process, and it's messy. <laughs> And it takes time because you have to clean that. Then you have to fucking get in the shower and clean your entire. I think any time poop ends up on dude, your person, dude, you should sharding, be in the shower. You take the fucking, you take your drawers off, you toss them in the garbage, you wipe your ass, and you take a dude wipe. You're clean. You're good to go. Mm-hmm. It that's minimal. It's minimal time. And honestly, I so, think I think I think the podcast the the podcast Instagram account should do a fucking poll. On if sharding, is, is sharding considered shitting your pants? Because I yeah. bet you, I bet you, you both would look stupid with the results. No, I uh, that locked it in. We're doing. I a bet poll. you, you both would. Tomorrow, there's I'll a poll coming out. Put it out live. Put it out right now. Yeah. Put, it out right <laughs> yeah. now put it out right now. I'm gonna take a big old picture of you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the champ. The champ. The champ get, get says, the "Do you like Title one of those the champs like, poll? The champs poll." <laughs> Um, so shitting your pants for you only counts if there, <laughs> dude, don't, <laughs> <laughs> it only counts if there was a log. Shitting your pants yeah, only I counts. Am, I still haven't taken a picture of you yet, so Sh- just oh. so you know, <laughs> I figured you want to pose. All right. Wow. The, the intensity. Jesus Christ. He's shitting, shitting your pants only counts when you full fledge shit your pants. Like you, you just went to the bathroom in your <laughs> underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't shit yourself. You just went to the bathroom in your underwear. That's it. That's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. That's it. If there's your your little your little no, Calvin Klein's just became. We actually the, had this conversation at hockey last week, and you weren't there to have it. And what do you mean? Yes, I was. It was before. It was before the game. Oh yeah. It was before the yeah. game. It was before the sniper guy. And it was. And it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was very fifty fifty. It was very 50-50. No. Okay. It was unanimous. If there's poop in your drawers, it's a, it's a poop in your pants. No. No. But no. Anyways, we've talked about this way too much. I just kind of wanted to hear the backstory. You brought it up, man. You're I the know. poop. You're well, the I poop did, champ. I didn't know. You are a poop expert. Dude. I you are the poop champ. You should have brought that belt and belt you think in. I'm wearing the belt. Because now you're the poop champ. You want to be the poop champ? I'm good with that. As long as <laughs> you I do got it. some funny. <laughs> you do have some funny ass poop stories, dude. I'm putting that in the uh, in some caption for one of the posts this week. Adriano poop poop champ. Yeah. Adriano Medici <laughs> is back on the pod. Listen, man, dude. That's some so people funny. got it. Some people don't. <laughs> you happen to have it, folks. Father's Day is just a couple of days away, and I don't know about you, but I have not gotten my dad anything and i'm starting to sweat but then i relaxed because i remembered that i can just use instacart because with instacart you can get not just groceries but some of your favorite products from some of your favorite local stores delivered right to your front door in as little as one hour so even if you forget something until the very last minute hop on instacart and they will pick it up and drop it off for you and the best part is right now two in the cooler listeners get free delivery on their first order of ten dollars or more all you have to do is hit the link in this episode description to get that deal start making things a little easier on yourself folks and use instacart today A great way to support the show is to check out all the sick merch we have got over at snackspot.se slash creator slash teespring.com. Get yourself something nice, okay? Because you're going to like it as much as we do. You can get this sick quested hoodie. They've got a ton of uh, merch on there because we've got a lot of great stuff, not just for the show, but also for Scheming and Dreaming and Quested, the other two podcasts that we produce right here. Summer's coming up, so you're going to want to get your hands on those tri-blend t-shirts, people, okay? That's target quality t-shirts, and again, you're only getting it at snackspot.se slash creator slash teespring.com link 
link's going to be in this episode description so you can check it out for yourself. And while you're there, take a look at all the cool accessories like the baseball hats, the bucket hats, the fanny packs, notebooks, water bottles, pint glasses, all kinds of really, really sick stuff from all the podcasts that we do right here. So again, hit the link in this episode description. Check that stuff out. Get something that's going to make you look good and make you feel good. And if you're interested in advertising on this show or our twin show, Scheme and a Dream, or Quested, the Dungeons & Dragons podcast that we produce here, you can email us at snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond, because podcast advertising has grown into, I mean, it's really in a league of its own at this point, shout out to the greatest sports movie of all time, um, because it's so... It's been shown to be a lot more effective, and you can see that because these massive companies like McDonald's is advertising on podcasts now. Uh, what's that other one? State Farm, NASCAR's advertising on podcasts. These companies that have huge advertising budgets, a lot of them, you know, they're advertising on the Super Bowl and things like that. And it's cool to see them move away from more traditional media into something a little more effective, a little cooler, you know, a little more relevant um that is uh but it hasn't left any room for smaller local businesses to get in on that action yet but that's what we are here for that's what we're all about so again if you're interested in learning more about all the benefits to podcast advertising you can email us at snackspotsports at gmail.com <sighs> i'm going to see that flash movie tomorrow really i already bought my ticket i locked it in wasn't sure if i was going to do it what time are you going daytime Th- yeah 3 p.m classic matinee i'm sitting right up front I've been doing Front row? I think I think you'll be uh, able to pick wherever you want to sit. I think you might be the only one there at 3 yeah. p.m. No, I, I mean, I did it. Uh, you know, you like select your seat now or whatever on the apps that they have, and a bunch of the seats were taken. Really? So, yeah. I don't a know. lot of people, yeah. I don't know, man. The movie theater that I go to in Rochester is, like, fucking packed, dude, like always. Like, How many I theaters? Was there, um, How many screens? 10 or 12. 10 or 12 screens? Yeah, a lot. And it's, it's always, a, it's a dude, big, what, it's always what, bumping I, there. I, 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 <sighs> That's Unfortunately, I'm about to shit on movie theaters real quick. I don't mean to. <sighs> Jeez, but man. like, and I guess, you know what it is? This leads me to another point, too, so don't let me get distracted. I don't watch enough live TV anymore to know that, like, there's movies coming right. out. Yeah. Right. So, like, I couldn't even, in my mind, I can't even process the fact that there's 12 new movies in theaters right now. Mm-hmm. Well, some of them, you got to double up for, like, The Little Mermaid and Super Mario. Because those movies are super popular. I went on the opening weekend of Super Mario. I think I was seeing The Machine. I think I was. that's when Burt's movie came out. And it was fucking crazy. Have you seen that? I kind of want to see that movie. Eh? Super what? Mario. Oh, no, I haven't. But you know what? I, Jack I, Black's in it. it can't yeah, be Jack bad. Black's in it. It does seem like it's going to be There's got to be some type of humor if Jack Black's in it. Jack Black's yeah, there has and to be. That yeah. Peaches song. You guys heard that Peaches song? No, all? sing it to us. Peaches, 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 Jack peaches, Black peaches. Yeah, and he does a phenomenal. See, the funny. video of, of him <laughs> doing it is spectacular. Um, but uh, yeah, that. But when the trailer came out for that, I was like, "This looks like it's gonna suck." But it seems like it's pretty good. Actually, the Flash movie. No, the Flash movie. The trailers make it look like it's gonna be really cool, and it's probably gonna suck. I'm just too worried. Is about this DC's it. last stand? Finally, is this their last go at it? I think this is their last shot because now you know James Gunn, who directed all the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, he's now head, co-head, but cr- in charge creatively of uh, DC Studios. Really? Yes. So they, they were. They were. They, they made him switch sides. They did make him switch really? sides. Well, he, he got did, a bag he for that. that last uh, Suicide Squad movie. Yeah, I think they paid him a ton of fucking money. Really? I wonder how much. Is did. that public record? They put I don't that know. out? I don't know. I'm probably seeing not. And Their yeah. shareholders probably wouldn't be happy. So I don't know if this Flash thing is like where it lies, if it's the last of like the old regime, or if it's somehow going to start to tie into the new one. I don't know. But that Ezra Miller guy is fucking crazy, man. So I don't know. I don't know who that is. He's the actor who plays The Flash. What, what's he doing? He uh, he went on like a crime spree basically Love for like that. a couple months ago. He um, the he like kidnapped a girl. What? It was like a weird gray area. He like might have or may, may have or may not have kidnapped some girl. He was like running amok in the Hawaiian Islands for like two months. There were all these stories there coming out. There can't be laws. And he, he's, an act, he's an actor. Yeah, he's an actor. He, he was in a bunch of... Uh, uh, he was in like the, the the Fantastic Beast movies. Like he did a couple of big projects. Rich Crazy Asians. He was in Crazy Rich Asians. Um, 
Hmm. He, uh, but yeah, he like maybe kidnapped this girl. <laughs> he got in pretty, you know, he got locked up a couple times down there. And then I saw this video. He's just on island time, man. He's on, dude, that's the kind of island time you man. don't want to be on. He's, he went down there and he stopped for a watch. <laughs> yeah, that that's that sounds extreme to me. Kidnapping again in Margaritaville, baby. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. But I just saw like this video of him on the set of The Flash where like this girl I think it's in the movie. It's kind of like, yeah, hey, hey, don't kidnap me. He's like, oh, well, I might. We'll watch it. I'll, kid, I'll kidnap you. Pulls a pair of handcuffs uh, out yeah. of his back oh, pocket. Ooh, yeah. Watch yeah. it. Watch it now. I'll get your ass. Ooh, you got to be quicker than that. <laughs> Man, talk about a great commercial. That might have been like the last great commercial. Geico had good commercials. Gotta be, they got to be quicker than quick that. that. Yep. You remember that? Yeah. If, if oh. Poop Champ remembers it, I'm yeah. saying it's you know uh, what? You know what? Time. There's something I, I, want, I need to say. Just because I've been thinking of it ever since the belt got brought up. Like, the viewers and listeners need to know yeah. that I grabbed this belt from the other room. Oh, I didn't know. just no. show up here with it. <laughs> That's a bitch. He brought it from home. <laughs> bitch. He brought it from home. You got I, self-conscious. I, I, I yeah, you did. Yeah. I cannot oh, have people dude. thinking that I, I no, brought this belt you can't, from home. Hey, no. you can't get self-conscious, Yeah, you live man. by you the belt, gotta, you die by the belt, absolutely. brother. You got to ride You're either the champ or when you're you, not. That's making it sound like you're not the champ. Oh, yeah. Some dude's. People are going to be coming for the title now. They can have the title. But oh, I'm not... now you're just giving it away. Yeah, because this isn't scared. coming home with me. You're scared. You now could. It's got to stay in the lockbox. No, just keep it right in the other room. Right on the shelf, right where I took it from. With your Lego set. Yeah, the Seinfeld Lego set. I only have that there because I somebody gave that to me as a gift, and I had already bought it for myself. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Did you build the other one? Yes, I did. Damn. It's sick. Yeah, man. You want to break it apart and rebuild it? No, Damn. I don't. It's a good like. But we were talking about how expensive they are. It looked are. like it was a lot of pieces. What did it say? Like oh did yeah, it say like yeah. three thousand. Yep, three thousand something. So it took a while. I got you a cool cooler. Lego once. You did. You got me very cool Lego. The I, but Infinity that was only like eight hundred pieces. I feel like. I think it's, it might even be less than that. Yeah, but it was that's still a, like that's a good <laughs> one. dude. It was like sixty <laughs> bucks. Cool. That's like a lunch oh, yeah, for dude. Randy. Yeah, I I haven't been doing too many Legos lately. The last one I did. Which, because um, we were talking about the expensive ones, and so most of like the like really nice sets will be like three hundred, three hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, for like um, wait that no, I I made that face because I'm like that's it. Yeah. Well, what's, what's what's I don't know about that one. That one Millennium Falcon's like eight hundred bucks. They have a Hogwarts one like hang that on, too. Oh, it's the long. Hogwarts one that's like, like four hundred dollars. Hang on, hang on, because McCune's talking about how like there there's some that are like a couple thousand dollars. Well, maybe he's talking on resale though, because that is true. Like the resale market on like, oh. like when they stop making them. Oh, I got you. Okay. And they have Those like bigger a, sets are a lot of money. They have like the Titanic one that's got like moving parts. I think oh, that yeah, one's that's like right. a that couple one might G's. be more too. Yeah. That's a newer one. Hmm. Yeah. But the last one I built was this uh cuz they are super expensive, but again, if I want to get them, eventually if I wait until I try to get them in the resale market, they're going to be way too expensive, mm-hmm. right? So I'm just like I'll dish out the 300 whatever. So I yeah, bought this uh, well. Daily Bugle one, which is crazy. It's, That's cool. It's unreal. It's awesome. I think I've seen that one. Yeah. It's got yeah. uh it's got like all it's got uh mini figures that are like inconceivable and cool. that's the only a friend of mine his father-in-law is super super into legos like he's got a crazy lego collection um and uh his son is also into it and i was like you know i was telling him like i just bought the uh daily bugle thinking you know they would give me some clout and he was like oh yeah my my dad hate didn't i had to beg my dad to get that one he hates it but he, yeah. he ended up getting it because the minifigures are going to be worth a lot of money potentially in like resale because really? there's ones that they haven't done before. Like there's a, a Spider Gwen one, there's a Miles Morales one that might show up in a couple other sets. But there's like a yo wasn't sick Doctor Octopus one, like just you know the Spider Pig guy, you know stuff like that. Wasn't the Daily Bugle? Damn, I hope I don't sound stupid right now. You already do. No, you don't. Wasn't the Daily Bugle like the the newspaper place in the movie Zodiac? No, Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. Damn it. It's a fake it's not real. Wait. Fuck. 
I don't know what the Zodiac one was <laughs> I called. Can't, I think it was I think called was like the California Chronic. It was definitely, a real, Chronic it was definitely like a real newspaper. So. Yeah. yeah, no, that one was yeah, that that I thought, the dude, LA Times? I, I I thought it was the no, I thought it was the Daily something. My favorite part. It wasn't it wasn't the LA Times. Okay. It definitely wasn't it was the LA something Times. Chronic, I think. I'll look it up. Yeah. Um the, yeah. my favorite uh d- dude the Daily Bu- like being in the Daily Bugle when you're at the Spider-Man ride in Universal is like the coolest so part of that ride. Yeah. Just saying. Just had to get that in there. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I want to go back to that Universal so bad. Yeah, I feel too. like we're saying that all the time, but you should just go. I know. I know. I, know. I wanted to go this year for New Year's Eve. I forgot about because that. like the Universal Boardwalk City Walk yeah. is super super cool. It's got like bars, restaurants like, like this coming night. New Year's Eve. No, I wanted to do that this past year. Why don't we do it this year, dude? Don't don't twist my arm. I would no, I would do Cause it because then you could go to like Universal during the day, go home, relax, take a nap, go out to dinner somewhere nice on the boardwalk or on City Walk, and then yeah. like fucking go to town. I would do it. Go see the Blue Man Group. Could you Hell imagine? Yeah, no. Blue I Man can't. Group probably buzzes oh, on New Year's Eve. So, uh, fuck. What day is that? Bare Naked Ladies is coming to town at Art Park. Yeah, you texted me about yes, that. Yes, it's on a Tuesday. At our at our July eleventh, yeah, I think we should go. I think we should try to do it. The Francis, the San Francisco Chronicle. I knew it was the yeah, fucking. Yeah, I, I knew I knew there was some a Chronicle in it. You thought what it was the Daily name? Bugle? <laughs> no, once you said Chronicle, I, I knew that there was yeah. some a Chronicle. In it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> Great movie though, Jake Great Gyllenhaal, movie. Robert awesome Downey movie. Jr. Yep, underrated I've, in that I've, movie. I have probably watched it's, that movie about twenty five times. Really, I dude, Robert it. Downey Jr. is hysterical in that movie. He just. Goes full AWOL, moves into a houseboat. Yep. Oh Jesus. Yep. Well, you've never seen the movie. No, I I d- honestly don't remember that part. I've only I only watched it because then Jake Gyllenhaal goes to see him when he's yeah. in his houseboat, and I, he looks dude. like it, his at, his character at that point in the movie is the same as his um, Sherlock Holmes character. Mm. Like wears a robe, hasn't showered in months, like right. clutter everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Great movie. So was Prisoners though. Big prisoners, right, which I haven't seen. You've seen prisoners. I've heard a lot of good stuff no. about it. No, Paul Dano that with guy rules. Uh, uh, Ger- no, uh, uh, fucking G- Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. And Jake Gyllenhaal. And their daughters get kidnapped. I think this is a Ezra Miller biopic, probably Prisoners, but they get uh, <laughs> kidnapped by Paul Dano, or maybe actually I don't know that for sure. I've only just seen them like interrogating Paul Dano. Mm-hmm. And that guy is a really good actor. That's the guy that is like slow in the movie. Yeah, he's got glasses. Yeah, I don't know if that's the correct term, but I don't know like what he's got a mental mental. Yeah, he's got something. Yeah, Lenny. That, that Lenny. Yeah, yeah. Lenny. Yeah. Lenny. That uh, that is who kidnaps them. Spoiler alert for prisoners, God, dude. I mean, the movie came out like 2012. Damn. Yeah, but it's just kind of on us for not yeah, yeah, for true. not watching. You've it. never seen that movie? I've never even heard of it, dude. You would fucking love that movie. That. That is a sick movie. All right, then don't spoil it. I'll watch it. <laughs> it's he not really a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. Okay, I think it's a misdirect. No, kinda. because the whole movie is a misdirect. Like, you still not, like, you know the whole time, but, like, there's a lot of other shit that happens that, like, never gets... That's the thing about that movie. It's a long movie, and it's super confusing. I, I the, the, the first time I watched it, I watched it back-to-back, like, twice. I spent, like, seven hours. Jesus so, it sounds like It sounds like the butterfly effect. Yeah, kind the of. Butterfly like that. Effect is one of those movies like I probably watched that a dozen times and on like the thirteenth I was like, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that movie doesn't hold up. I've never seen it. I I probably because nobody I, wants to watch it thirteen times. I think times. it's really good. Like yeah. once you once you understand like the, the whole like premise around it mm-hmm. and all the flashbacks and flash forwards and stuff. Dude, like I that, heard uh it's pretty I, I think it's pretty good. I heard uh uh what's his name? Who directed Tenant? Uh, Chris Nolan. I heard he's directing a new movie about uh, like the Titanic or something like that. Maybe it's not the Titanic, but it's like a historical event, mm-hmm. and it's like, well, we know what happened, so we'll see how we. Oh, Pearl Harbor. He's, he's do, they're doing a new Pearl Harbor movie. Yeah, I think That'd so. That'd be crazy. Christopher Nolan. I'm really, uh, I'm really looking forward to the uh, the new Insidious movie. Oh, they're making another one of those. That's cool. Good for them. It's been years, but you always knew after the last one the. Uh, the Skeleton Key, I think, was the last one. I'm pretty sure that was the last They've one. They've got a couple spinoffs, right? Annabelle's a spinoff of those movies? No, Annabelle's What's a spinoff. Annabelle's, Annabelle's a spinoff of The Conjuring. Right. Well, and is that 
So is that movie The Nun also spin off of The Conjuring? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because that's it. Okay. I yeah. thought that was it's not about Pearl Harbor. Yep. All right. It's um. It's about nine eleven. No, I wish. It's uh. Dude, what? what 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 do you think that? Well, I'll let you finish. It's but. about the Manhattan Project. It's about oh, the new, the, oh, 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 I'm, 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 I'm in. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be good. Small. It's worth So they're the like, street. how is he going to work his magic and like twist this into something that doesn't that people can't understand because it's yeah. a historical event that we know of. Well, he did uh, Dunkirk as well. The movie Dunkirk. If yeah, you remember that? Mm-hmm. That so movie's okay. Have, I didn't see it. Harry Styles is in that one though. I like Dunkirk. Okay. I liked it. Okay. I watched it when it first came out. I, I never saw it, Tenet. But I liked it. I felt like I never had the like the mental capacity to, to sit down and yeah. watch it. I do want to watch it, but honestly, probably since the pandemic, just like a lot of like I've only been watching like light stuff. Like there's a lot of really good movies that have come out, but they're just not they're just maybe a little too dramatic or something. And I just have man, no desire to see him honestly i haven't been watching jack shit i was watching so much hockey that i forgot that there was like other television and then the hockey stopped like there was no more hockey to watch really and i couldn't find anything to watch so i just started re-watching white collar nice <clears throat> always a classic standby yeah, free with ads i started watching american hustle last night never seen it before but yeah I, I loved the first like 20 minutes yeah that movie it gets that movie's not bad yeah, I think I, I'm trying to remember. It's it all it's based like on a true story. Stuff. Oh, I forgot. If about you want to know the truth, like I was watching it last night, and I was like, I wish I was just a little bit smarter, because I, I would absolutely just steal money from rich people. I would. It's, hey, it's good. Work. It's good work. If I you would get it. Like the, it starts off, he's like a loan shark kind of thing. Like, hey, like you know, you pay me like X amount of like X amount of dollars, and interest. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you a loan for. No, it's like it wasn't even like interest. It was more or less like. You know they're they're a part of they they made this they made up this facade that they were like a part of this like royal banking company in like London, and he's like you know people rich people rich men and women would come up to him and like hey like I need a loan for fifty thousand a hundred thousand dollars and he's like okay well he's like you know he's like you got to fill out this application I'll send it up to him but the fee to fill out the application is like three grand five grand seven grand whatever. And then gotcha. it's just like, mm, yeah, sorry, no, you just you didn't Damn. get it. That's funny, actually. <laughs> that's kind of that's crazy. That's, that, well, that that's how it started. Yeah, I don't really know so. how the rest of it plays out, but that's how it started. And frankly, yeah, if there was a way around it, I would do that. I mean, you could do that pretty easily. <clears throat> you'd get caught. Like you, it's, it's illegal. Yeah, yeah, you'd get right. caught now, though. You'd get caught. But you it's, could do it. You could know, probably man. get away with it for at least. It's once. harder to get caught at some of the like. I think you could hold out longer than you might suspect. <clears throat> If, like you're, if girl, you're really smart, I think you can uh, genuinely get away with white collar crime. Yeah, for sure. There was that girl. Um, <laughs> how's that working out for most? How's that working out for Donald Trump? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. hey, I mean, he's not behind bars. A, it lasted not behind a long bars. time. They arrested him yesterday. Like eventually, you're gonna get caught. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they arrested him yesterday. Did they, Emily? I think he like surrendered. But I don't know if he's like he surrendered. He surrendered. <laughs> <laughs> he was waving the white flag. Yeah. Okay. He's actually like I just, yeah, yeah, I, just yeah. I just read something. I, uh, maybe Faz said something to me. I read it. something yesterday, though. Letitia James says it doesn't have a pot to piss in, though. They have no actual case against him. So all this indictment and bullshit, like, it's not even going to end up going to, like, a trial. Well, we'll never know, man. But, we'll I, never but know either until. way, look, the guy's how old, he's how rich, and he's never been behind prison bars once in his life. Not bad. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get caught yeah. eventually, but, like, you can last a pretty long time. Yeah. And, and if, as long as you have like, enough money, once you get caught, you're laughing. Yeah. Yo, and even think about, like, the, the Jordan Belfort story. Sure. He didn't have to spend a single day behind bars if he didn't want to. All he had to do was just kind of succumb to the, the needs of, like, the SEC. Whatever. Yeah, that's right. We but talked he's, about he's, him last week. But, you know, I'm not fucking leaving. And then he ends up in jail. But yeah. it's like... He still would have been rich, never would have served jail time. Yeah. And it's like a fucking slap on the wrist. Yeah, Are you that's kidding a, me? That's a thing. It's a it's a weird thing because It is weird. It's all about because if you're like a if you're a regular guy and you get arrested for like let's say like a minor drug thing, um the government or somebody, people who own prisons, whatever, is able to make more money off of you while when you're a prisoner. Whereas when you're in a Jordan Belfort situation, they're going to be able to make more money off of you just by finding you and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So there's like no point for you to go to jail. Yeah, that's a whole difference. That's how it works. That's a, that's it. Yeah, in I think an, I put in, that, in a I nutshell. Mean, that sounds about right. I think I put that together pretty cohesively. That, so, that sounds about right. I'll take it, ah, dude. Well, can we talk a little aliens? 
I yeah, would love I'm to. In. I'm in. Have you seen? Have you have you looked into this further? That guy, the whistle, the whistleblower. Oh, the new the new whistleblower. New whistleblower. You talking about one of the? This like, is very recent. Two, two, yeah, of the, like two, two of the Phoenix police officers last week. No, I don't. Think what did two Phoenix officer. police officers see some aliens? All right, you tell yours, then I'll tell no, mine. No, this guy who yeah, 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 This guy yeah, yeah. who worked for the government in some capacity, like, I'm, so there's a lot I got to get into here. I this is none of this is going to be factual. Okay, sounds good. Because I haven't done my research. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a guy who worked for the government, like high level of government in some capacity, that like is now out and like went through the proper like apparently there's proper whistleblower channels. That you can go through to like not get in trouble, like mm-hmm. through the gov- from the government, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, he was like, since like the '80s, he's like, not only have we known about like ET stuff, but like we have partial and working parts of like non-human like crafts and stuff like that. Hmm. We just have them, mm-hmm. and so now there's a conspiracy that because he didn't say." extraterrestrial he said non-human that it's like a tomorrow war so you ever seen the movie tomorrow oh, war shit. yeah yeah no. yeah dude sick movie but it's like a tomorrow war situation where like they're not from space like but they've been like living like at the crest of the earth and now have like an exit because the polar ice caps melting or something living like that. where oh come the fuck that up. part I, I gotta draw the line there have you ever seen the Tomorrow War? Apparently no, fucking but not, dude. I gotta draw the line there. Not like in the, not like in the center of the earth. They're living like, in like underground, like have like underground in like Antarctica or something, like under these ice whatevers that have been there for hundreds and thousands of years. I don't see. I have like think about how long it took. I I I draw the line there because the way I look at it is, I I think that anybody. Anyone listening to this right now, if you don't believe in in life outside of human form, you're an asshole. Sure, I mean the there universe are cats. is gigantic. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, all right, N- not like that. Earth, not on like Earth. That. Earth, on Earth, mm-hmm. on Earth. I think you're an asshole. With the galaxies and the solar system, like there's just Dude, there's this guy knows no space. the champ there space is champ. No way. Galaxy there's <laughs> no galaxy way champ. That we are the only form of human life. In any capacity, sure. In the entire, un- there's no way. There's no way, no way. But people living inside of like gigantic glaciers and stuff, that that would take some serious convincing to get me on track with that one. I don't necessarily watch the, watch the movie The Tomorrow War. No, because with Chris my, Pratt. Cause my Amazon thing is original, like, it's a fucking banger. My thing with that is that means that these other forms of Ancient Not humans, humans or whatever, what they are, are still here on Earth, and I just don't. Yeah, but think about how much it makes sense, though, because you know, <laughs> let me put my Joe Rogan hat on. You, you know, they're always talking about like the pyramids. Like there mm-hmm. had to have been Abs- other absolutely forms of life, the yeah. pyramids. Yeah, and they're like, and we think it just like you know there was a catastrophic event that like set them back pretty much to prehistoric times, and like everything had to restart, and they were never able to recreate. Like we still haven't yeah, found like, those yeah, same forms of technology. Yeah. On the yeah, flip side of it, like crazy. yeah, there were yeah. aliens like living amongst people on in in different areas of Earth that could travel and were providing technology to these people, but they weren't leaving it for them. And like the people that had this this is a new theory I just created. Like the people that were like pharaohs and kings and stuff like that were people that you know had I guess the closest relationship with these extraterrestrials or whatever other forms of life that allowed them to you know and they could like be like hey we're boys like come through and show my people some stuff and then they'd come through and show their people some stuff and they'd be like yeah this is i i brought this here like i am a god next thing you know we have fucking greek mythology we got a full-on xerxes Mm. situation god king I, i don't i i don't hate that theory i'm definitely on board with the theory that like Life is just kind of repeating itself, dude. I just well, you don't know any better because, dude. The, like I, I get on these TikTok. It's almost like holes, as, yeah. It's almost like as far like as far advanced as we're going to get in our lifetimes until we die. Mm-hmm. 
It's almost like that's already happened before, and then some just happened, wiped Earth out, and it just reset. The the cycle yeah. just reset. Happen, I mean, but we don't know any better because happens everything all the time, got dude. destroyed. Before. Exactly, dude. exactly, and that's that's what but I the think. Pyramids the pyramids didn't pyramids. get destroyed, and that's what's fucking crazy. Well, because they were. So, I mean, they're massive structures, but that's what but I think, think the deal with but, the pyramids but also, is, perfect. is that. But another thing, yeah, well, because we'll I think the that. technology when the pyramids was in, when the pyramids were built was super super advanced like when they talk about and then again that when, all got lost in a reset about when they it. talk about like those numbers with the pyramids like how it lines up with the yeah stars. and it's like ridiculous. how the sizes it's of them like to like um like to like the 99.9999 percentile of like how perfect they are yeah and like even with modern day technology we could never never, never. accomplish that never not only and not not only not only just like structurally how they're built like to align with all that shit, but how how heavy, like each yeah. each, each of those stone is. like how long it would take to build. And Rogan talked about that. Yeah, too, well, that's what I'm, that's what like I, with, I get with these today, Yeah, like with today's technology, it would have taken us like x amount of years to like just get those stones yeah. like in place and up there to even the carve cutoff, stones yeah. of that it's, size and it's like, and, that and it's like it, it really to that perfection it yeah. really raises an unbelievable point like how the fuck would they would anyone have been and able like to do the that pyramids used to be like completely smooth too yes I don't know, dude but, like, but they, they say the like, great wall though yeah but that that the great wall is not that nice the great wall is different no. though in my opinion too because right. number one like it's not at, but it is a massive structure. It is. And it did take. Long. It did that take is, forever to make. Them. Yeah, that is true. They might though, still too. be working on it. They might. Yeah, I don't think they're putting the finishing touches on. Yeah, that that is. That's a that's a nut. Wow, that's a big landmark that really goes like undiscussed. Yeah. Should we start it right here? You got any Great Wall conspiracies? I don't think that no, because uh, I'm I saying they if they did the Great shit. Wall, I might, I might honestly the pyramids. Know. No, the I don't Great know. Wall is it's so different. much different than the Great. It is. Dude, it's very you see different. Parts of the Great Wall that but are that, we still it, made it's, it. It's not that great. It's like it's like oh, I know a dude. great fucking like fence. Like it's like <laughs> this tall. Well, I mean, so that so that would be my only my only argument. Like what was that? What was the Great Wall? The pyramids are so Mongolians. Not you're telling me the Mongolians couldn't have fucking hopped over that thing. Well, no, because it's I, tall. No, but I definitely you go around it. At I a certain could point. see. I could see Mongolians or whomever. I could see physical human beings building the Great Wall. Yes, it'll take and you they a did. long fucking time and many and many did. generations. I'm pretty sure, but there's I a lot of documentation. But I can't that that see. Is the case. I can't, can't see, see anybody building a pyramid. I can't just see. So perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. And well, they yeah. say that like there's tunnels. Under the pyramids, which yeah. is just so that exciting, are, that Dude. are blocked off and like they don't let people go down in them. And I heard the curse. like, a, well, that the probably. Curse. But I also heard Dude. like a like a talk about icebergs again, like an iceberg theory. Like there's a chance that like the pyramids used to be even bigger and they got buried in sand, and like there's more pyramid like Whoa. under the pyramid. No way. Whoa, that'd be crazy. That's too much. I can't believe that's impossible. No way, dude. That'd be insane. Dude, I have listen. I have uh, I have can. heard about all the tunnels boop, boop, and things. Boop, boop, boop. Can't and you there's boop, a tunnel? Boop, 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 there's a tunnel to see what's under the sand. I'm sure can't you boop, 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 boop. I want to go. Sand? I want to go find King Tut. Didn't they find him already? Wasn't that the whole point? Dude, they say Maybe. in the in the they, 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 they did. There's find, more. There's got to be more people say, down there though. They say <laughs> yeah, the, no. I don't. I don't think we've recovered everything. There's this thing. There's this thing. I literally. This is. This is. Straight from the Joe Rogan podcast. There's this fucking thing in like the like Pharaoh's room of like the Great Pyramid that's like a box and it's empty now, but there's like an electric current. Like it's just not there's nothing. It's just there and there's like a legitimate like power that comes out of it. Like uh like an EMF or whatever? Yeah. And, like, they, people, again, who knows, but people say, like, when you're in the room with it, like, if you get, like, granted to be in there, like, like you can feel it, like, there. Like, you know it's there. Like, it's there's, like, mm. energy coming from it. Mm. And there's a couple different theories about, like, what used to be in it. Like, they say there used to be, like, a, a thing that was on top of the Great Pyramid that, like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And, like, sure. that, it stemmed from that. And, you know, who the fuck knows? Yeah, who knows? Dude, I could talk conspiracies... Like well, there was another know. another TikTok. I don't know if this was a Joe Rogan podcast or if it was another show, so whoever it was, but they were saying like there was a hotel that all the um elites used to go to, like somewhere in the US, and 
the hotel, like, they stopped going to it, but, like, it was the hotel was in commission for, like, years and years and years. And, like, just not long ago, I say not long ago, I don't know if this was, like, the early 2000s or if it was, like, the 90s, 80s, whatever it was, but they found, like, behind this door is, like, a massive, massive bunker that has, like, me that has like a whole grand hall like a, like a huge auditorium like all this stuff and like apparently when they would the elites would go all go to this hotel to stay there they would have these meetings there and oddly enough they like put the they like decommissioned like the use of the hotel like they put it out of business right when the denver airport was finished being built which has that huge bunker under it hmm Let's look up some dumb Dude, Yeah, it's crazy. Dude, the Denver airport shit, I've only heard a little bit about. It just seems insane. And I'll tell you what the difference is between then and now. The thing about these meetings with, like, the super high up people is, like, they don't have to hide them because they don't really care. Like, you know, the Koch brothers? Like, there's some fucking meeting that is annual, and I don't remember what it's called, but the Koch brothers are a big part of it, and all these other rich people, and they get together, and they'll just have it at a hotel. Like, at a hotel that other people are staying at or whatever, some very nice hotel, whatever. And I know this because uh, I was listening to... It was Shia LaBeouf on Hot Ones, actually, and he talks about when they were doing the movie Fury, um, he, like, wandered off the set, and they were staying in this hotel... And they were having that meeting in the banquet hall of that hotel. Something that I think of a lot with regard to conspiracy theories is, okay, like any anything we're talking about right now, any any conspiracy theory we're, we're referring to, like you're going to feel passionate about it one way, right. you're going to feel passionate about it another way. There's always, there's always going to be at least one person in this world who knows the actual truth. And that's fucking well, crazy. To do me. you think? Do you think that's true for all the shit we've talked about with the pyramids? Though you think there's somebody out there that does know? Maybe not right now in our very lifetime, but there was. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, dude, yeah. there was. Yeah, I guess so. But that's. But I think I not think that's kind saying. of fascinating in in the sense of like there. No, I agree because like the pyramids is okay, different. I, than, you know what like, I, hear, all, I like, hear? what you're like, saying now. Sure. Like you might you might think like that the pyramids were built by aliens, and you could have that argument and feel like very sure. certain way about it. Where someone else might try to shut you down, and they're like, "No, no, no, blah, blah, but blah." But at one point in time, but the answer time, was public like, knowledge. The, yeah, right. The answer was known. Yeah, and but that's this crazy. is why that I think wild. that there is something shady going around with the Denver airport. Because if you look up no Denver way, airport dude. conspiracy, yeah, of course, the flydenver.com like has like a thing that says you may or may not know like. DN's got some secrets, blah blah, and then it goes in to say like, and it's got a list of things like conspiracy, like one. The New World Order built the airport, and it's got this whole thing. And then it's like, r- reality. Uh, there is a world of underground tunnels beneath you with, like, luggage and carts and shit like that. That, like, the airports that... And it, it goes in like that. Or it's like... Um, that Just shit like that. Like, ha- Denver has extraterrestrial map coordinates. A not-so-close encounter. Use these coordinates to land 51 miles northwest of the airport. Though this 19th century blockbuster, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just like they have an answer for every conspiracy listed on their fucking website. Yeah, because it got so crazy. People were going, like, they had uh, posters up when they were renovating it, making fun of those conspiracies. They would have a poster of, like, a snake person, you know, or, uh, you know, one of those reptilian people or whatever, and be like, we're not doing anything but weird back here. Which uh, which is the problem with conspiracy theories, right? Is that a lot of people could look at that stuff and be like, they're trying to joke about it to throw us off the trail. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if we want to use like a more modern one, that is, it like it's definitely a big one. People talk about the nine eleven thing. Sure, that George motherfucker, Bush. he's still alive. So there is someone like right now in our lifetime who knows. That's true. He fucking knows. Yes or no? Yeah. Buzz Aldrin with the uh, moon landing. He still knows for sure. That guy's still Well, kicking. so does uh, Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of, that's more or less what I was. That fucking documentary, that should have put your head in a spin. Room Dude, a lot, 274? A lot of, a lot 237, of 237, I think. 237? 237. About The Shining. Yeah, that's a great documentary. You ever seen it? I think bits and pieces, Dude, yeah. Dude, uh, and, yeah. and, and I like this one a lot because Stanley Kubrick directed 2001 A Space Odyssey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And in The Shining, like, there's a bunch of scenes that they go through and cut up that are, like, 
Stanley Kubrick is like admitting that he is the one who directed the moon landing for like the U.S. government mm. because mm. he did 2001: mm. A Space Odyssey. Right? They say that movie was like a test run. Yeah. To see if uh, people whatever. would believe what they're seeing, like if it looked real enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, sure. yeah. dude. Uh, hang on, before we get we get way off track. So, <laughs> you well, no, like we're talking about yeah. stuff like this, the alien thing. Yeah. So I didn't know. I thought you were referring to maybe the, there was there was a video and like a story that came out last week. Um, it it basically started out. It's somewhere in like Arizona. I don't know if it was Phoenix necessarily or where or New Mexico, somewhere out that way. Um, it started with a 911 line. It was a, like a recorded 911 line. Someone calls in a 911, and I you could hear about this. You can tell that they're like afraid, but they're not fucked up. Like they're very sober, like relatively calm, and they're basically like, "Uh, yeah, something just crashed in my backyard, and we watched it like fall from the sky." And he's like, "Now I'm looking at this thing in my backyard that's like." Not human, but, like, looks human. And the dispatcher's like, well, can you describe it? Like, how tall is it? Is it, you know, white male, black male, Hispanic? Uh, like, what is it? And he's like, he's like, well, he's like, it's probably, like, 10 feet tall. It's got glowing green eyes. <laughs> and it's got, like, super long, like, hands and fingers. He's like, in 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 a shorter version, like, however he put it, he, he essentially said, like, it looks like a fucking alien. And so... The lady's like, well, go out. Like, do you want to, like, go out there? And, like, hey, he's like, no. He's like, seriously. He's like, this is not. He's like, I'm not joking around. Like, this is. We're all, like, very, very afraid. Like, we're hiding in the house, whatever. So a cop gets dispatched to, like, go there. And then they, like, kind of mashed, like, that cop's body cam with one of his, like, co-workers' dash cameras. And the dash camera actually catches, like, this gigantic green ball of light just flying through the sky and like crashing somewhere okay and so the one cop that like got dispatched to this like obviously like he probably wasn't a believer before this because he's like i kind of wanted to call bullshit on this but then like one of the co-workers like caught wind of it and was like holy fuck i just saw this like they're not lying like this really did just happen and it kind of turned into like this whole big thing and cop ends up like going ask like a bunch of other neighbors like do you guys see anything hear anything blah 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 and like few people are actually like yeah like we heard like this very loud crash um and we saw like this light like but there was nothing there the when they got there nothing there when they got there what nothing there when they got there that's a weird one it is but like that like the dude and like even <laughs> even in the cop's fuck, body just, cam just, like in the interview when he's interviewing the caller the dude is not like fucked up. He's yeah. not a crate. He's like a normal person. He's he's sober, and he was like convinced. He's like, no. He's like, I'm telling you right now what I saw. Like we all saw it. Like every single one dude, of us in the house saw it. That's like my worst fear, because everybody around you would think that you're crazy. Was no, I, was I just talking no, about not this everybody, here? but some people will, and it's like. But Fuck. some of the people that do believe you are crazy. That's the well, other problem. That's the, yeah, that is the yeah, I guess that is you know, an issue. You're really stuck in a tough place. Itself. Was I talking about this just on here, though? When I was little, that was one of my biggest fears is that I was going to run into some kind of monster or something, and then no one would believe me. So I would, like, grab my mom, and I'd be like, listen, if I ever tell you that I see a monster, I'm not joking around, and I need to know right now. I'm, like, five years old. I'm like, I need to know that you're going to be on my side <laughs> when I tell you that, that you are going to believe me. Because when you watch movies, it's always kids who are that age, you yep. know, the age I was at yep. that time. And they see something crazy, and the adults are just, like, on the phone with their fucking friend or something. Like, hang on, Mary. Sorry, what's that, you know? And they, like, don't believe the kid, yeah. and then the kid's got to deal with the whole situation. Yeah, it's fucked up. But I'll, about, I'll publicly say I fuck with aliens. I do, too. I, I like, mean, I'm cool with them. Oh, you're cool with them? Yeah. I mean, I know, get, I'm you're, <laughs> just trying to, you're just trying to get that king tut. You're trying to be careful. You don't want to get <laughs> abducted. <laughs> yeah. Yo, if you guys do ever decide to try to overtake our world, I'm cool with you. That's okay. my PSA every time I talk aliens publicly. What if we're so early on as I, a planet compared to like so much of the other galaxy? Yeah. That yeah. We're actually the ones ahead of the game. Yeah. You know, because there's uh, people that have like really theorized alien civilizations and 
civilizations that have developed technology that's able to travel across galaxies and things like that. Um, one of the theories on that is they, they uh, have, have ranked different uh, societies into these classifications, and I think it's something like a class... Fuck, I don't remember the classification, but let's say a class A civilization is the most advanced, right? So, in theory, that I've heard is like some of these class A civilizations, like why haven't they gotten here yet and stuff? And one of the theories is, well, there's enough of these utopian, highly advanced civilizations. Some of them are good and some of them are wiping out the other ones. And maybe they're just all blowing each other up, and that's not that's why we're not really involved in that stuff yet. But hmm. Aven- that's the plot of the Avengers, is it? Pretty much, like Thanos is just wiping out planets, and then Earth decides to get involved, and then Thanos is like, "Nah, I gotta fuck these guys up." And then Captain Marvel shows up and is like, "Just so you guys know, like all of these other universes have been at oh, fucking yeah, yeah, war yeah. forever. Like I can't be here on Earth to help you all the right. time because the whole planet needs." Motherfucking save it. Ah. Yeah. But I can't. That person of, uh, just w- 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 was stoned and watched the Avengers. <laughs> That's really got that theory. <laughs> <from>. um, <laughs> but as far as like what aliens are, I wouldn't. I, I kind of like. I buy a little bit into the theory that they're like human beings from the future. Because. I picture it as a men in black type scenario where like they can show themselves as like true form but they can also show themselves as like humans, they can buy you know they I mean? get like human suits yeah what kind I mean, of that'd be so that not see, they get human suits but they can just what are those things from rick and morty called i don't know dude i think aliens are so advanced that if they really wanted to they'll just morph themselves into the shape and form of human it beings all depends fucking, i mean that's a whole different dude, aspect they do it, of they technology do it in gi joe <laughs> Why do we think, like, I mean, okay, I, and I get it, like, weapons and like military a, and this, that, the other thing, but, like, with all the conspiracies around it, why the fuck is Area 51 still just so... Dude, if, I if, was if, thinking if, about if, this if, in the shower like this, the other if, day, if, dude. if aliens Gross. and shit really don't exist, and the government's, like, really denying it, show us what the fuck's in there. Dude, like, well, I was thinking about show this... Show us in the, what's in there. I was literally thinking about this in the shower the other day, odd, because I'm like... Something's in there that they... Genuinely believe they cannot be transparent about. Well, Bob Lazar said it 100%. was UFOs and stuff like the that's, you know crafts. I I agree. yeah, but even if Shit that's what that it is, now that they're fucking talking about it, right? So this is my uh, this is my other theory. I I also have a theory that like because that whistleblower where we started this conversation, that whistleblower said like they've had this shit since like the eighties. So like <laughs> one theory behind it that's like this a different podcast that was talking about this said was, well, it's a good thing that they've known about it for that long. Cause that means like we've gone at least 40 years where we're like civil with them in some sense. You know what I mean? But my theory is I just came up with this one on the spot. Cause I was trying to think about it in the shower, but maybe the U S government is so secretive about this stuff because the aliens are like, listen, we don't want to have to fuck you up, but like we got people that are coming. This is like a high end, like, vacation destination like the rich of the rich aliens like swing by human for like a week when they're like kids are off school yeah but like we can't know but like we've watched your civilization grow up and we saw like slavery and shit like that and we can't have like our people like we don't want our our people showing up and all of a sudden like being prosecuted against we don't want those problems like we don't want this turn into a thing sure. so you have to keep what you know about us secret or else, like, we're going to have to come down here and fucking take you guys over. Like, we'll let you guys okay. we'll let you guys think that you're running the ship, but we're actually going to run the ship. Like, they're running the show. Like, everything that happens in our government is coming down from the aliens. I How about that for a theory? And that's why I, we can't show us what's in Area 51. If I just walked in that door <laughs> yeah. and I did not know the context... Of anything, and I was just—I li- would think you are so fucking high right now, dude. dude even with context, that, I'm a little—I'm a little that, nervous. That was crazy. I mean, again though, like, theory, but like, who, I, cause who, in who my head, I, I'm like, yeah, I mean, yeah, who am I to say that you're wrong? Like, like it doesn't like make shit. sense to me. It does not make sense to me. What could possibly like be behind those doors? Because the, what popped in my head was remember when there was that whole like, yo, we're gonna storm Area 51 thing, yeah, yeah. and the government was literally like, dude. If you guys do this, like we're gonna commit mass genocide on our own people because we're gonna gun you. you the fuck yeah, down. Yeah, of course. Kill you. Like this is so, there's like 
it's it's yeah. no secret regardless of it's no secret that whatever is in there is a secret. No, dude. I also have another theory. Regardless of what's in Area Fifty One, though, if you have a bunch of people storming a military base, that's going to happen. Well, I yeah, have another yeah, theory, though. Yeah, I have another yeah, theory. Yeah. Okay. My other theory is that like, it's just an empty warehouse. Could be. What and if it's like, the crates though from Indiana fuck. Jones? No, and the, and that they keep it there because it's like. It's a Everybody thinks yeah. that, yeah, and then shit's uh, just going on right under our nose, yeah, and we don't, because yeah. we're so like, dude, we just saw a fucking, a fleet full of planes fucking at mock speed flying to Area 51, like, some shit's gotta be going down there, everybody pay attention, and meanwhile, they're just fucking walking down the street with fucking alien caskets in Washington, D.C., and nobody's saying a word. Hmm. Yeah? Because they're like, yeah, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What a pod. <laughs> Dude, I think about this shit so much because Apparently. it all goes back to Odd's point is it's crazy to me that there's so much, like, unknown. You know what I mean? That That is actually known, That's known. by some sure. people. Like, and, and it came up, again, from this guy who was a whistleblower because he was talking about how, like, a lot of people have worked on this. Like, they've, like used private contractors and stuff like this and they don't ever give them like full things they'll just give them bits and pieces so that those people never have enough to truly put it together but they'll hire like you know these high-end like tech companies and they'll say hey we have this can you like de-engineer it and like fig- figure out like how to how how it's created and stuff like mm. that and like i'm sure some people there know more just than others but some people are just like oh this is you know some crazy government technology that somebody figured out. We got to figure out how to DN- to create it ourselves so we can sell it or something like that. But like, there's a lot of people that seem to like when he's talking about this, that seem to be cued in on it and they probably don't know the whole story, but you're telling me they have, they're not a- asking questions. So I think that there's more people that know what's going on than we are led to believe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, dude. You know, we're not privileged. And I got to be in the know. I have to know. Dude, things, it's, dude. it's pretty much impossible, man. I, I heard from somebody, excuse me. Who you got heard, a source? I don't have a source. Yeah, what, I heard this. That really sounded like if I've ever heard anyone that it's has a, a source. source no, like I was only source. saying somebody because I can't remember. <laughs> I heard it on a podcast. Somebody oh. knew a White House staffer who got really close to Obama in his last days, and when Obama like started smoking again and like not caring <laughs> if people saw him, and Obama and this guy had a private moment, and Obama was like, "When you're the president." You know, if you're if you're living in the country, you see the president, you think this guy, this is the top of the mountain. You're half, you're only in the very middle of the machine when you're the president of the United States. Well, and that's I truly believe that, but that's yeah. why I think like again now we're we're continuing down the conspiracy path. But I think that if you look at like what's happened in the past two presidential elections, like whether you're talking about Donnie or you're talking about Joe Biden, like to me, it's like. I would assume people in power are like, dude, let's, at this point, let's just find, like, figureheads to put in there that we don't have to fucking tell anything. Mm-hmm. We're not even going to make them make real decisions. Yeah. We just have to try to keep them together enough when they're on the podium and give them just enough information. And then we can do everything behind their back because at most you're going to be a president for eight years. And I like, think these so, other people that are in positions of power right. are fucking in there for decades. Decades. And I decades. think that thing with the president, though, has always been And then the they case. just die. It's just more relevant or more evident yeah. to us now because Cause whoever's... I'm whoever's the deep end, watch as I dive in. I thought you were going to finish it off. I never leave the ground. All right, let's do who win of the week. Jesus Christ, you want to jump right in? Well, well, hang on, no, not that? yet. Hang oh, on. Yeah. Hang other, on. Also, other people, yeah, other people might have something to say. No, nah, I'm done with that. We, like, <laughs> we, no, because re- you could talk about this shit for hours. You just hundred percent. Especially it feels if you, like especially if you get have. people that are like on the same fucking page. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Then you're just circling. You get with like each a other. case of beer in there I've been too. In those conversations. Oh man, you're in trouble. Sometimes, yeah. Next thing you know, the sun's rising. Yep. Um, your big days next week, isn't it? Yes. Are you Next excited? Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. It's going to be really cool. Good. Yep. Fuck yeah. That's at Arrowhead, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday? Yeah. Next Saturday. Yeah, but I thought we were golfing next Saturday. No, that's this coming Saturday. No, and I oh, asked. Oh, and it's Friday. I asked you next Thursday, and you said no, and then I said, what about next Friday? I said Friday. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I thought we said Saturday. And if you're though. tying it all together now, that's that's. 
makes sense why we're golfing. Yes, it makes yeah. it makes a ton of sense. Yeah, okay. just to put two and two together. Yep. yep. I'm there now. All right, Roger that. Yeah. Anyways, who um, ran the week? Garfield and Stuart Little. Yes, the who would win of the week this week is Garfield versus Stuart Little. What in the fucking world makes you guys think Stuart Little's gonna? Stuart uh, Little's because I just I just because shot. because I just watched Stuart Little the other night because it's on Netflix now. And let me tell you something, Snowbell wanted to eat the shit out of Stuart, oh, yeah. and that yeah hated him. Yeah, hated him. Even even conspired with fucking Monty and Smokey the Alley Cats. They're like, we gotta, we gotta get rid of this little bastard. He's taking my. Wait family a minute! Over. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Stuart Little was able to essentially befriend and convince Snowbell not to kill him, and now uh, oh, Snowbell's if that's his to, tactic. Snowbell doesn't have a chance. Garfield's friends with nobody. Garfield has no friends. Snow Snowbell had no friends either. Well, you're just talking. He's conspiring with Smokey and Bandit or whatever the Smokey name was. Smokey and of Monty. Smokey and Monty. <laughs> well, Smokey and Monty were the alley cats. <laughs> Yeah. That freaked out when they found out that Stuart Little was living in the house. In, in Snowbell's house. Yeah. Snowbell didn't want him living in there. Yeah. So Snowbell went to Monty <laughs> and Smokey for help. <laughs> this is very much that energy of uh, the Billy Madison scene where he's like, you get off your ass and you find that fucking <laughs> dog. <laughs> Uh, all I'm saying is that's I, never gonna work with dude, Garfield. So, no, so I think it would. I don't think that I. You're actually, crazy. I think I it absolutely would. I don't think would. that I actually knew this, but in my quick Google search, you're telling me, you're telling me that the Stewarts went to an orphanage to adopt a child. The Littles and their they, last name is the Littles. Littles sorry. Yeah, the Littles. The Littles. And they ended up adopting a fucking mouse. Dude, if yeah. you think the kids on Air Bud's basketball team felt bad, how about the other kids in that fucking orphanage? No, are you kidding me? It's Stuart Little walked out of it all screaming goodbye to him. They fucking loved it. They were riled up. Yeah. That's crazy, though. You know you know what's fucking nuts? Is Imagine like, being like, I'm going to get a really child dude, today. Dude, that's, I think imagine, that's how Tom Riddle. Imagine like, being 26 years old. You haven't watched that movie since you were a toddler. Do you know how taken back I was watching that? I was like, someone had to be on some of the best fucking shrooms of their life to create a movie like this. A talking, a talking rat. It's based on some books. Yeah, well... They were, were fucking smoking ashwagandha. Yeah, what? No, yeah. what's that shit called? Ashwagandha? That uh, ashwagandha, ayahuasca. You know, ayahuasca. You don't smoke it, though. Anyways, you don't my smoke take. It? No. What do you do with it? You drink it. Oh. My take, just to finish it up, I'll 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 let you guys duke it out. My take to finish it up: Snowbell was a fucking asshole. Didn't like. Didn't even really like his family, to be honest with yeah. you. Okay. Stuart Little comes in, cat versus mouse. Typically, the cat always wins. Stuart Little essentially made Snowbell his bitch by the end of the movie. Tom and Jerry type How situation. did he do yep. that? How did he do it, though? Be- because... The power of friendship. Which yeah, is through, not through going... I'm telling love. you, that doesn't apply to Garfield, though, man. Garfield See, has I'll, no friends. Garfield's a killer. He's Stuart ruthless. Little's the also Odie is like the nicest dog ever, and Garfield just beats the shit out of him. Nermal the cat, who's like a, a, a different cat, like a younger cat, nicest cat ever. Garfield beats the shit out of him. Garfield I have doesn't a care about I have a anybody. I, I, this has been my theory, and I'm sticking with it. He's going to crush Stuart. I though. have a theory yeah. that Stuart yeah. Little whips up a mean lasagna. Why are you thinking? I feel, like, are you thinking of like Ratatouille? No. I'm He's thinking, thinking of Ratatouille, Little. the fucking rat know, that, that's like I a know. pasta chef. But Stuart Little is a well-put-together young man, and I guarantee you that he can fucking And any well-put-together well young man, remember the B and the D on your drink and, and your the bread D. and uh, making D. lasagna. Uh, every, <laughs> every polite young man knows how to right, make ready, a watch lasagna. This. Andrew, gun to your head right now. Could you cook a lasagna? A hundred percent. Odd. I'm like, uh, why are you asking that? Of course you can cook lasagna. Because you fucking it's all it is, Medici. You fucking take fucking the noodles. You put the fucking ricotta. You put the fucking sauce. You put another noodle. You layer that shit. It is the easiest thing to cook. You're the telling me that, noodles are you, the size of Stuart Little. What you just described is a manicotti. Yeah. Okay, just so you put you some know. fucking meat just in so the sauce. You know. There you go. You put some fucking meat in there then. Regardless. Fuck you, Odd. I'm Just taking saying. your. I'm trying to take your side here, dude. <laughs> I, I, and listen. you're fucking coming at me, dude. So I wasn't fucking born in Italy. Dude. I don't need you so to take my fuck, side. I like I, I like, <laughs> I'm, I'm still, fucking no, dude. You guys can both disagree. I'm just saying, Stuart Little, you look like your fucking best boys is, with Mussolini is making, right now. Is is making Garfield his bitch. He just There's is. no fucking man. Garfield's gonna s- either smack nah. or eat. Stuart, Stuart Little is making the lasagna. What about Stuart Little? What about Tom and Jerry? 
What about Tom and Jerry? That's a that's different cat, different mouse, dude. Doesn't matter. How does matter. that apply? It, but it's How's a, that apply? It's the same it's principle. It's the same thing with your snowball cool, argument. Cool mouse. Nobody. Cool mouse, no, shitty dude. cat. Okay, Garfield's not shitty. Garfield he's an asshole. Also is yeah, so he's an asshole. He's okay, not shitty. so Tom and Jerry, cool cat, asshole, mouse, or vice versa. Sure. Jesus. I don't think Tom's really, well, I guess Tom's an asshole. So but again, Stuart, it's a fully Stuart, different cool situation, mouse. dude. Garfield, it's a fully different asshole situation. Cat. First of all, There's Stuart potential. has had the most pampered life of any rodent ever. He's this lived is, amongst uh, the humans. Yeah. This is He's a I pussy. Just, Stuart Little's a pussy. I just realized that this is one of the great debates, cat versus mouse. Cat versus mouse, man. That's really what it I'm boils down to. I'm taking Stuart Little. Stuart You're Little's got nuts, his shit together. Man. He's, He's got his shit together. Fire exactly. lasagna. He's You're got telling, his shit hold on. together. You're telling me Garfield doesn't have his shit together? Listen, Garfield is lazy as fuck. But to, that's the life he wants to live. You have to remember this, You have to remember this. Stuart Little has the capacity... To like think and god damn it. So does Garfield, man. Dude. Oh, the belt's getting too heavy. Stuart. The belt's getting too heavy for the champ. I've been I've been reclined this entire pod so that thing would stay on my fucking shoulder. <laughs> I've been so yeah, uncomfortable. There you go. Now he's sitting up straight. Stuart Little has a capacity to like to to like think and to like problem solve. And so does Garfield. Right, but <laughs> When you put those things together, it's like it's like Cat said. Stuart Little has his shit together. He can out so, fucking. He's going to so outsmart Garfield. He's going to outsmart and outplay the fucking piss How? out of that cat. How? What is he actually going to do? Dude, honestly, what, gonna what is he going to do? Him? What is he going to do? He's going to go into the into the pantry and take all his fucking cat food away, and the fat fuck's going to starve. <laughs> <laughs> he can do things like that. Then he's going to eat Stuart, man. <laughs> no, because all be Stuart has to do is go hide. Like Stuart, and Garfield is literally Stuart, biologically trained. But Stuart has to, human, to find him. human capabilities. Okay, so... Such so he can act like a human. Though. He'll lock Garfield in a fucking basement. He'll design a booby <laughs> trap to kill Garfield. He'll take Garfield's food away from him. He'll hide from Garfield so that Garfield cannot eat him. I don't think... He's smarter than Garfield. As, uh, I Garfield don't know about that. a little bit dumb. Maybe like that, Garfield, a lot of Garfield's, Garfield's not problems that are, dumb. Garfield's no, not that but dumb. Most of the Garfield comics are like Garfield ending up in a less than ideal situation because he like... Ate too much lasagna and like overslept. Or I mean, for like fuck's that. sake, that's his not name true. Is Garfield. That's not true. We're a nerd. We should call the Garfield expert on this one. <laughs> Who is it? Jerry Canada. Jerry Canada. Really? Your dad likes Garfield? No. This. All right, let's lock it in, and then I'll tell that story, and then we'll wrap it up. I'm going with Stuart Little. It's Stuart Little. Garfield, Shut the fuck dude. up. Unanimous. Andrew. Garfield. Unanimous. You guys are fucking nuts. It's fucking unanimous. It's, no, it's not. God. I don't you think call, you know every what Every time you come on here, you say some shit, and I don't think you know what it means. Yeah, I don't know if you yeah, know that one. that one, I guess I didn't. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> and you Remind me to pick. check the uh, poop poll before we get out of here, by All right, the way. Let's not forget pick. to do that. Check it right now. It's Garfield, bro. All right. No. We're locked of in. Of course in. it is. Two Stuart Littles to one Garfield. Vote on that on Friday on Instagram. Who would win of the week? Stuart, Andy, I'm sorry for your about loss. Nerds. Stuart sorry Littles a loss. fucking nerd, man. Sorry for your loss, Andy. Um, I'm going to... The Instagram poll is going to no, agree with no. me. Nope. Here's a, uh, not, so, when they, not when they hear my, my reasoning behind it. They're going to be like, damn. <laughs> He's going to take all his food. They can even make heads or tails of anything. That you I like to take all his food hour. argument. Hey. I like to take all his food argument. I'm in on that one. Take all his food. Then all he's right. just going to eat Stuart. No, he's not because Stuart's going to hide from him. Stuart's going to make a trap, Andy. <laughs> fucking idiot. I don't think that him. Stuart Little has the engineering skills. I mean, Are yes, you kidding he, me? He built a fucking sailboat in the movie. I... You're going to have to watch that again. What do you mean ahead. he built a sailboat? He Didn't built, he put he built a, a model of a sailboat together with the help of Jonathan Litnicki, his like, brother? Isn't that what happened? Jonathan Lee, Nick, okay. Nick, Nick, that's like the actor's name who plays his brother. So I mean, well, sure, it was like a it was like a larger version of like a model sailboat, but he still built it. He sailed the fucking thing. Yeah, could Garfield but ever sail? Wasn't, no, th- he'd wasn't sink. there uh, Fat fuck. it broke. The remote control broke on George. He was pissed off. And that's why so Stuart, Stuart had to sailed take over. the fucking boat. <laughs> sailed it to victory? Yep. God damn. And you still think that this little man's incapable. He's taking Garfield right the fuck down. I there's no way, dude. There's just no way. The quick way. synopsis of the Garfield story that I was talking about is our father actually does not like Garfield, but one of his relatives, like when he was a child, got 
like made up in their mind or something that my dad was a big Garfield fan. So every birthday, Christmas, special occasion, my dad's one relative would get him like something Garfield related. Like uh, a Garfield. I would him with and like Garfield my stuff. dad did it just didn't like I Garfield. Didn't like Garfield. He always <laughs> yeah. got I mean Garfield blankets, like notebooks, like everything Garfield did. Yeah. Jerry Cannon, he's the Garfield king, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Go, All right, go check give, the poll. Go give him the belt. Okay. Give him the Dude, belt. I'm sweating. Yeah, it's. I don't know how I'm it got starving. this on here. I'm starving. We've been going for long enough I've, that like we yeah. can check the poll oh, and leave. Right? I'm Way so too long. Yeah, we I'm went so too long. hungry. Check the poll as soon as you're done. Heads are coming off. Does sharding count as shitting your pants? 100% yes. How many votes? Only a couple. Yeah. But still, 100% yes. There it is right there. So far, how many votes, though? Uh, Four total. Yeah. I don't mind, I mean, it's got to have time to move, it's but right time. now it's at yeah. 100%. I'm not worried about it. You, I Hang mean, on. I'm not worried about Ma- it either. Because you, obviously, you don't have to say names. Male or female selecting that. Male or female voting on that. Um, I think it's a healthy mix. I wouldn't want to assume anybody's gender. Uh, Yeah, it's a mix. Now it's five votes because Matthew just voted. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's, it's 100% yes. Dude. I'll be surprised if anybody hits no, it doesn't. Of course it does. I mean, it, not according to our hockey locker room last week. No, that's, I don't remember that conversation going on the way. Adriano, thank you for coming on. Yep, I'm out of here. I'm starving. All right. It's always so fun, man. Thank you for coming I'll on. See thank you later. for throwing it around I with can't the wait to come back. Yep, we'll see you. Andy, I love I got, you. I got to go put this belt back you in too. the other room. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Thanks, folks. <laughs>